What up? Today, I'm going to show you how to trigger drum samples in Logic without any external plugins. I, like I'm sure many of you, am a fan of adding drum samples to my mixes from time to time to help beef up the drum sound. I don't do it every time, it's just a case by case basis, but I would say I do it more than 50% of the time. I just like the way it sounds. Plus it's kind of industry standard at this point, so whatever, judge away. I used Drumagog for years, and I have been using Slate uh, Trigger, Slate Trigger 2 um, for a long time since then. And, and it's great. So if you wanna go that route and you wanna get a plug-in, Trigger 2 is awesome, it works great. But if you don't, say you just wanna spend your money on Logic and that's all you have to spend is just the $200 it, it costs to get Logic Pro. Well, there is a way to trigger drum samples using only Logic Pro and you can use their entire suite of drum sounds that they have that appear across all of their MIDI drum instruments. So I'm gonna show you how to do that because I think it's a cool trick. And I actually use that, like I don't exclusively use Steven Slate Trigger 2 when I trigger drum samples. I use this a fair amount as well, especially if I'm making MIDI style music because I'm just pulling MIDI stuff to layer on top of acoustic drum tracks. That being said, let's hop into a screencast and I'll show you exactly what it is I'm talking about. So here we are in my, uh, my new song, The Fuzz. We've got some acoustic drums going on here. I'll set a little guy like this. You're not gonna solo? Okay. So fortunately, it's a pretty simple thing. Now what we're gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna go option K to remember exactly what this is called. I just use a keyboard shortcut and my shortcut is control D. Keyboard shortcut, control D is already assigned to drum replacement doubling in main window tracks. So I'm gonna cancel that and I'm gonna look up drum replacement doubling, main window tracks. So let's see if it's in a sub menu because I really can't tell. All right, there we go. Replace or double drum track. If you go to track, you get a replace or double dump drum track, right? Okay, so we're gonna get out of this and so we'll start, actually we'll start with kick drum and we'll do it through here. So if you go to track, go to replace or double drum track. Boom. So this is what appears. So you're gonna end up with a MIDI. So, what, right now what we have it set to is snare. We want to get a kick. And here's where it gets kind of cool. So we're going to preview it. And what we can do here is we can change the threshold. So if we go all the way down, you can see the MIDI notes disappear in here, right? But if we go all the way up, some of these snare notes start to appear, and we don't want that. Fortunately, our drum track is pretty simple, so it's not, it's actually a looped thing, so we'll just set it at minus 20, so we'll preview it. And then we can try out all these different kick sounds, like, I'm going to unsolo all of this because then we'll just get kick drum. Move the groove setting. All right, so now a preview. Just kick drum. And we can pick the sound that we like, which is really cool. So I think I like C2. So we're gonna go with C2, turn preview off. And then what we can do, we can actually go 
to electronic kicks. I mean, you, you can choose, like, the whole plethora of stuff that's in Logic you can choose from. Okay, never mind. I found my kick drum. We're going to go electronic kick C15, because what I was going to do is turn this into an 8-bit sample anyway, and that already starts there. So, okay to that. And then we're going to go to trigger the snare 57, and this time we're going to go snare. So, preview that. And we're going to go out to electronic snares. There we go. I'm going to do that. Okay, so now we turn the group back on. There we go, groups back on. Solo the drum kit. And we got some drum samples. Pretty cool, huh? It, I mean, and it's that easy. So this is always available. Replace or double drum track in the track menu. And then if you want to get fancy with it, like I do, you go hold Option K or go to uh, da, 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 Key Commands Edit in your Logic Pro menu. And that's what will bring this up. Type in drum replacement, drum replacement doubling, and then you can set the key that you want it to be. So you click here. So if you want to delete it, you'll go, we'll just exit out of it, do that, exit out of here. And so then we'll go back in, we'll go to key commands, edit, type in drum replacement, and then just select the key. Command D, and there it is, and you're good to go. And just like that, it should show up in the track menu. Boom. So that is how you trigger drum samples in Logic using only Logic Pro, no external plugins, and you can choose from their entire library. And then, of course, once you get in here and everything's triggered, you can adjust the velocity, you can make it all the same, you can make it all different, you can make it follow your drum track, whatever you want to do. But you don't have to go out and spend money on a drum sample piece of software when you've got everything you need right here. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.